My neighbors are looking at me right now. Sitting in front of my bay window, looking at a camera, talking, and they think I'm wacko. Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Jamie, if you're new to my channel. If you're not already subscribed to me, I'd love if you would subscribe down below so we can get connected and you can kind of join in the community that we have going on over here on my channel. So this year, 2017, I did not make resolutions. I didn't have a big long list of things that I wanted to focus on, that I was trying to change within this year time frame. Really, I picked a word that I wanted to focus on that I wanted to be intentional about, and that word is contentment. And I did a video specifically on that, on me picking a word. I'll link it up here for you if you wanna see that video and just find out more of why I chose that word. But mainly, I really want to focus on contentment in my life because I've found that this discontentment in my life has caused me to look for contentment in other areas, in purchasing things, in bringing things into my home. I found that I've looked for contentment and happiness in materialistic things. And so this idea of minimalism, for that reason, has really resonated with me because I found that so many of the things that I've surrounded myself with in my life have not brought me contentment, have only cluttered my mind, have only given my anxiety um, more room to breed. I don't think there's ever been a lifestyle that has resonated so strongly with me when hearing and seeing and you know putting it to action in my own life. I don't think there ever has been. Uh, aside from my faith, really you guys, this is such a strong, strong pull to me and I know that there are some people that are like, oh, extreme minimalist, or, you know, like they don't have anything in their house, they count all of their items, and that's not at all what I'm aiming for. I will say though that when I see people that live more of an extremist minimalism um, lifestyle, when I see that, I think like that just, it resonates with me. Like I'm like, oh, that looks so peaceful and so just, clean, you know, and I like that visually that is really appealing to me. Will I ever be an extreme minimalist? I don't know, probably not. I got kids and we're probably gonna have more kids, so that's, you know, probably not in the cards for me right now or anytime soon, but I aim toward just having things that bring me joy. I aim towards making peace with things that I just don't need and I don't want and can bring someone else joy. So that's where I'm at right now on this journey of minimalism and I just did my first declutter video. I'll link it up here for you guys. I, that was really huge for me. I found that my makeup has been like such a big part of um, things that I've held on to and really I've just held on to them because it's been money, right? It's been like a lot of money that I've invested in some of the makeup that I have. And it's, that's a stupid reason to keep things because if I'm not using it, the money's already spent. So I might as well bless you know, either my mom or a close friend with using it if I don't ever use it um, because obviously it's not, so you can't give makeup to everybody because that's not sanitary. But if I have a close friend that can use it, then that's nice to bless them. And if I don't use it, then I need to just get rid of it because it's not bringing me joy and the money's already spent, you know? So I did a video on decluttering my makeup that will be linked up here for you guys if you wanna check that out. So you'll be seeing a lot more decluttering and minimalistic lifestyle videos over here on my channel moving forward. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Comment down below and share with me where you guys are at with your journey of minimalism. Are you decluttering? Are you still kind of just looking into it and trying to figure out if it's for you? Comment down below so we can get a conversation started and we can all get to know each other a little bit better. Once again, subscribe if you're not already. I'd love to have you and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.